Hi, I'm Doug, one of the engineers at Clean Energy, the next generation of heating systems. In this video, we're going to look at how to install the pump and the return line on one of our furnaces. Then I'll show you how to prime the pump prior to firing your furnace. Remember, have your owner's manual handy and give us a call at 888-519-2347 if you have any questions. We support our furnaces directly and we're here to help if you need it. First, reference the owner's manual for any guidelines for the metering pump system. Next, mount the pump on the wall as you can see here. If you desire to mount your pump on a shelf system, refer to the owner's manual that shows you how to rotate the pump 90 degrees to allow for an alternate installation. There are three oil lines that need to be installed to the pump. First, out of this port will be your pressure oil line. If it's less than 100 feet to your furnace, that can be 3 8 inch copper tubing. Over 100 feet, we recommend running a half inch copper tubing to your furnace. Next is the suction oil line, which goes to the inlet of the filter. This is a half inch copper tubing, and it's a single piece of copper all the way down into your tank. Through the duplex fitting, a slip fitting, and a foot valve connected at the bottom. Ensure that your foot valve is at least eight inches from the bottom of the tank to create a water and sludge trap. Next, mount your return line, which is a quarter inch copper tubing, out of the relief valve down into the duplex fitting. Once you have the pump installed and all the lines connected, you need to prime the pump. Have a container of oil, of used oil, available and manually fill both the canister filter and the pump head by removing the half inch plug and opening the ball valve. Manually fill oil until you have both the canister and the pump full, and then close the ball valve and reinstall the plug. Then go to the burner and reference your owner's manual on how to program the primary control for the pump priming mode. That will allow your pump to remain running for four minutes so you can take a 3 8 inch wrench and open the bleeder port on the side of the pump head. Catch oil in a drain pan until you have a solid stream of oil. This may take up to a minute, but you want to make sure there are no more bubbles uh, coming out of the bleeder port on your pump head. So there you have it. Remember, if you have any questions, please consult your owner's manual or give us a call at 888-519-2347. We support our furnaces directly and we're here to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.